Eli. Press F. Here we go. So, as I put in my YouTube server, that I currently isn't going to update the map. We have to update. So, I'm going to be doing a new series uh, with Jay. But Jay is actually taking on the role of a farm manager on this map. Got a very little farm, got a set up. Uh, built his farm. He's got some land. And he started growing snow at the moment. So he's doing you know, grass, type of field. We also uh, are doing seasons on this map. So that's going to make things a little bit interesting um, as to different different times for crops to be sown and harvested, weeded, sprayed. So hopefully it should kind of bring in a, a bit of a, of a quality into the gameplay. So without further ado, let's get into this one. Uh, let's get into this one and we'll, I'll give you a quick guide and sh show you the land that Jay is, is, um, has given for his farm. There is farm. We're also going to be doing a couple of productions, but I'm not too sure what those productions are going to be at the moment, so that's a work in progress. So let's just jump into here. This, this is Jay's little barn set up here. Farmhouse. <coughs> Got decorated in here. Bit of a dip in the uh, half here with a bit of a puddle, but that makes sense. That's coming off farmhouse so when I got the fun need to kind of get the past the out when to be done. Nice plant plant here. Been here for a while. Over here got the bale storage. Got the vehicle that's up vehicle storage here. Here we've also we've also got the slime over. Perfect. Over here we've got a vehicle store and workshop. Nice little workshop in there. There are all the equipment. That is additive. We've got over here, which is for making Silage, so and half brass, hay into silage. Got some pallets of seed additive here because they will be making seeds. I think I might put the little seed production area here, or I put the seed additive here. This was going to be the vehicle wash area. But there was a change of plan and I put in a mini PPA. So I'll be able to make um let's just charge methane and digestate. Like this by putting store uh store in some other products into here. Nice fence up area. He's also got a little little party entertainment area which is in progress. So there will be some other bits and pieces to put up a long ground, little fence, and maybe extend the top of a little bit. Also got a little fire, uh, barbecue over here, so when he's entertaining. Over here we've got his storage, grass in there at the moment, and storage, and then we've got some yeah, he's got some sheds with some equipment. Got a storage wagon, got a trailer, and some space there. Got a fuel tank. Boot crop storage. Because Jay is going to be doing some boot crops. So, you know, fine. Another storage over here. Uh, another equipment storage. Got a grass mower there. 
front of it is over there. Um, nice dexter pallet, pallet truck, oil drum. Bags of that was delivered. The delivery guy didn't actually put them in the location that JJ had requested, so he dumped them in the middle of the yard. I need to uh, get those located and put away. But I might put like a. might remove these vents here. Um, might remove the vents. Then the. Uh, then the gravel out a little bit. Maybe put a shed in here next to this one. Or storage of fertilizer, feed, that kind of stuff. So let's just show you the area that Jay has. Jay has the purple area. So he's got 48, 47, 58, 3, uh, 5, 4, 6, 7, 46 is... 46 is where his farm is, farm yard, main farm yard. And 45, 4, 55, 54. And then you've got the three fields at the top here, 66, 67, 68. He's... Hi. Okay. Hi. Uh, yeah. uh, so, oh, yes, yeah, another member of the farm. So Jay has currently got go back up. Jay has currently got um hops growing in forty seven forty eight. Granola growing in there. Harvested sorghum off the of pool yesterday and he's currently in the process of forty four has been as grass cut. Uh five I believe is also Fifty-eight. Coming down to it. Fifty-four is in the process of. See, it's kind of in the process of being sorted out, and crops. Um, so it is in the process of powering that one. Granola in these two. A few, a few packs. That's fine. So, okay. um, <coughs> so add sorghum on all the carbs. Process of up here, allowing. Uh, As you can see, it's pretty bad. Field. Just on the out, just on the edge of the field, you see a couple of bales, um, that were kind of bailed. A couple of them that were kind of missed. So we'll just stand a little bit of this. Actually, we'll come, what we'll do is we'll empty the 
we'll go in and empty the go and empty the harvester actually and put that yo know, pop in. Jay did have he was leasing a um he was leasing a fence, 1050. So this registration plate. So here's by gaming 64 and the AG was going green hill today. So what we'll do is we'll just we'll just drive down to the farm, pick up the trailer so we can enter the combine. A couple of ways of going down to the farm. Yeah, but we'll go along this way. Kind of more easier direct route. Never never set up there by one of the other farmers. Like oil oil refinery set up. Easy also going to do a bit of forestry. One of Jay's neighbours. Brandon is also another one of Jay's neighbours as well. See on the chat there. That should build just on the look, go out, look, the right here. Yeah, right. Back, I believe, we should feel that this harvest is there. Again. Pop down here. This is the lane, or the, you know, the lane that goes up to Jay's main farmyard. Uh, he had it, he paid out and had it all gravel. Farm, in, the farms on the left hand side, as I'm going past, they belong to Brandon. Another farm, and Brandon's farm is just up there on the left. As you can see, just in the in the, on the left hand side there, in the in the distance, this is Jay's little little farm here. Let's go in here and pick up the trailer, and then we'll go back and into the harvester. So oh, yeah, Jay did, Jay did was renting a uh, fence 1050, but the Jay the the the, the, the daily leasing cost was getting a bit too much, so I returned that one and I bought a slightly cheaper 
it is the hyper attractor time being um which is uh Lassie Ferguson the HM uh, HM40 so I've just got a, a slightly you know, slightly smaller attractor for the time being just so we can Just so we can actually kind of you know, get a bit more, you know, keep the bank balance a little bit kind of healthier. I don't want it to go into the bed, did he? So we'll go in there. Go in there and up there. What I think I might do as well is might actually, um, might actually, you know, get, get some of the heads taken out in between the builds so I can kind of you know, run a little bit you know, easier in between to you know in the field. There we go second sunshine in my eyes so it's gonna be my uh It's just where my screen is, it's, I, I do have a little bit of a, uh, a little window behind my monitor, so when the sun's kind of coming up early in the morning, it kind of shines in my, my eyes a little. I can't really see, so I've just put my base cap on so it blocks out the sun. The entrance to the field is just up here. I harvested this yesterday. Um, I didn't want to kind of you know, head the trailer. I, I didn't want to. Um, didn't want to lose the opportunity to harvest the crop, and that was you know, a waste. You know, not not a waste, but you know. I didn't want to use the opportunity of being able to uh, harvest the crop. Oh, we have Jay on as well. There is two other people on the server. Right, we'll go in. While I'm in the harvest, I'll just go in, pop back over here. Put it back on the trailer. It is quite a big, yes, it is quite a header. Um, 18. I believe it's 18, just over 18 meters long. Yes, in the head of the time. It's 60 foot long. So it's got a working width of 18.2 meters. Yeah, quite long. I'm leasing that at the moment. Oh, what happened there? And what happened there? It suddenly shot backwards.
depends on certain way you've got to put it onto this trailer. But go this way. So the wheels on the head are, head are need to be facing this side of that tank. That little, that little lid tank there. Out. Uh, that looks fine. Drop that on there. Okay, slots it. So we'll just drop this, we'll just take this one back to the farm and then we'll come back and get the trailer. In the track. Actually, we'll park this one up here for a minute. We'll just take the trailer in the track for back. Run back. I'm going to put the Sagam into storage at the moment. I'm going to put Sagam into storage um, just for the moment. Put that into storage time in. Let's just have a quick look at the calendar. It's, it's, we've got, uh, what, yeah, the calendar seasons, what we can actually show, what we can, what we can. So we are kind of in, still in the season, planting season for wheat and barley. Just come out of is it the second of October, I believe now? Uh, I think it is. So we've just come. So we've still got the sowing season for 
wheat and barley. And I think the fill in the season for grass, we can still see grass at the moment. And oil seed radish. Grass and oil seed radish we can we still can sow. We can sow grass up until the end of November. Jay has a couple of ideas. So the bigger fields, bigger fields, you know, so these bigger fields that Jay has here. So 54 and 55 are going to be a possible root crop fields. I'm not too sure, still calling the idea at the moment because that's quite big fields. But that would give you know, enough, um, enough crop then to be able to continue with his you know, making the electricity charge and stuff throughout the year. Uh, we've got granola on these two fields here. Or I might plow. Actually, I might get that plowed now. Go pick up the plow. Um, pick up the plow one here. Got look and get four done. And then maybe if so barley or wheat onto that one. Then we can start using the straw to make a just eight and electricity charge. And methane. So yeah, I might might get that one done. So if we pet that one up, because that's a smaller field, and get that one stone. That's I think that's the next job. Yeah, we'll do that. And pick up that one. Get that done. Yeah, we'll get that done. I think that's the next plan. I haven't put music onto this video. Uh, the reason why I haven't put music onto this video is because I wanted to obviously be, you know, be able to explain and talk a little bit more about the plans of what Jay's actually uh, going to be doing <coughs> going forward and obviously with the music which is fine but obviously sometimes it kind of makes the volume of my 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 voice my voice commentary a little bit lower so hopefully that's fine well <coughs> excuse me just go and pick out get that done Yes. 
Okay, let's go pick this up. We'll come back and I'll come back and get this one done. I was up a bit later on. Big build that'll take a while. So I think I'll um I'll try and get the uh Need to knock it there. Try and get the uh, get all done. We can go and get that one right. Hold it up. The interior of this burger thing is the only quite, quite nice. Nice little interior here. Little sunroof there, little radio up here that nice. Down here, so yeah, get that one out. Down there, next thing here. Next You know, okay, so back here. Okay. okay. I'm told. <coughs> Got to. I might be right on this. This is a predefined hill. Might. On, on 
a lot of the other ones, because this was a pre-made build, a lot of the other ones, like that build next door to us on the left, you've got to make sure that it says allow create builds, but because this is a predefined one, we should be okay. Yeah, because it's a pre-made build, it's, you know, fine. So we'll just, yeah, start up that. This one will power. We'll pack that ready for time to go. Just not start packing this one up. What I might do is I might try and get some of the heads kind of maybe where those two trees are, maybe get the bit of hedge taken out there because there's an entrance that goes into the farmyard there. So I might get that, that bit of hedge taken out to so I've got access from this field stuff into the farm a little bit easier. Let's just try and save on the on the you know, fuel and stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll go all the way around when I've got access. I can make uh, a little bit of access. Yeah. Yeah. But I must admit, the trees do look nice on here, especially considering it is autumn. Nice orange and brown, and she got a few greens in the back because they're obviously, you know, green, evergreen trees, I believe. Up there in the, uh, up there in the, um, in industry there, in the forestry area, it's up there to the left. Turn the beacons up a little bit here. Because I'm on, a, on, on my farm, on the, on the field. Necessarily need them on. Quite a big work and whip on this one, on this plow, which is good. 
Let's see if some of these bigger uh, build. Need that extra bit of working with. Sun reflecting on the uh, look at the sun, but it's hitting the uh, reflect on the back of the bow. See, just flicking away there, but when when I uh, when the sun hits it, look at the dust, the mud, but dust. Look at that. You mean? See the get yeah, and working, all working fine. A wobble, but that's good. It, it, you know, changing and stuff, magic. The little white things on the mirrors here. You're just wondering what they are. They are actually um, sensors for when we are powering. And not powering seeding and spraying fertilizer and stuff. It senses so the you know, it feeds back to the system to actually you know, allow um <coughs> allow the data from the fields, you know, so we you know, the system knows how much fertilizer or seeds to put per square meter. Also, what I will need to do at some point is I will need to come around and do samples, soil samples, so I can get the data for the precision farming, so I know what, you know, what the pH level and the nitrogen level of the fields are like. That's a separate piece of little equipment and stuff. I might kind of get that at some point when I can afford it. I've cut the, I've cut my leasing cost down. I'm now only leasing the header at the moment for the harvester. I did, um, because we did start off, uh, we were given money to be able to build a farmyard, a farmyard, and then we were all, uh, everybody on the server was given 500,000 each for equipment. Uh, for you, yeah, to start with for equipment and things like that. Uh, so everyone started with the same amount of money. So yeah, everyone started with the same amount of money, um, which makes it fair. And the land was allocated up. Um, the admins had a t discussion and allocated the land up as, as equally and fairly as they could. And every every farm. Uh, Farm manager was had a meeting with the admins and was asked if they had enough land, etc. If if you know, obviously people need extra land or they've got too much, then they can sell it and have a conversation with the neighbours, sell it to them, etc. Blah blah blah. So yeah, it's and it's more for it's this map here. It's more about trying to be a bit more social with your your neighbouring farmers as well and. The idea is, 
Whereas on the last map, on Bally Spring, everybody was kind of doing their own thing. Productions, etc. And it was super cut productions, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely fine. But it's to try and kind of, you know, I think the way they kind of want to run it now is so if one farm is making sugar products, for example, or sugar, and somebody needs sugar to, you know, make one of their products, or they need straw, or they need wheat, for example, or flour, it's it's so we can kind of, you know, communicate and liaise with each other and buy said product off of a neighbouring farm to obviously be able to make the flour if you're making flour, or if you've got, um, you need manure, for example, or slurry to put on your fields, and you've got a neighbouring farm that has got cattle, or, you know, or animals that produce slurry, for example, such as cows or pigs, um, it's just to, you know, it's just so they, you can kind of, you know, liaise with your neighbours and kind of, you know, get that kind of working relationship with your neighbouring, you know, farms as well. So that's why I'm, I'm still in, in kind of planning mode as to sort of productions where, you know, in regards to you know, where Jay is going to go with his productions. Um, I've got the mini BGA on the on the farm to be able to make the electricity charge from the straw and stuff, because some of the crops I will be growing will generate straw. Um, I also want to try and make, uh, Jay wants to try and be sort of self-sufficient where possible, so he's going to be, you know, making his own seed, um, make his, hopefully make his own sort of fertilizer if I can. Um, nobody else is really doing that. Uh, if not, then obviously I can, you know, perhaps have a talk with one of my neighbouring farmers and get, you know, get fertiliser off them if they're making it, or if not, I can kind of go down that route. I can make fertiliser and, and stuff and sell it to my neighbouring farms. So, And the rate, uh, the way the selling prices are that they run on here, it's the sort of top selling price for the, you know, on the market, and then add 10% on top. So it depends on what the product is, you know, and the price at the time, as to when you are making that, you know, making that sale, can vary. What I will do, I think, when I get to the end of this, I'll plow this field up and then I think I'll, I might end the video there. Make it, you know, and then, yeah. And then I can, you know, the next one maybe I can kind of, you know, do a sewing, sewing episode maybe. I don't want to make my episode too long. Okay. I'm not making them too long, so they're kind of you. But yeah, I don't want to make them too long. But. 
So yeah, we've got yeah, quite a few neighbouring farms around. Yeah, you've got a few neighbouring farms. I'll finish the uh, I'll finish the plowing and then I'll like give a brief you know, sort of overview of the neighbouring farms about. Some of the neighbouring farms they do have farm workers, farm hands, which Jay was on the last one. Jay was a farm hand on the last map, but he's um I uh, had his talks and decided he was you know, kind of go with that. We'll venture out on his own and see if he can kind of run a successful farm. Right, so this is this is the last pass on this. This is gonna be all power, but it's all ready to uh be seen soon. I think we'll either do we'll either do wheat or barley. I need to I need to obviously make a decision as to what I'm going to be sewing on here because I don't have I'll have a look but I don't have much longer. I think I've got until the end of November uh, at the end of October. Planting season for those two crops. And right. oh, it's square. Hmm. I think it's also in the middle. I'm kind of in the middle. Yeah, so I've got until the end of October. End of October to plant wheat or barley, so I need to get that done in the next few days. Okay, so then the next planting season. To mark anything like that. So it's even beetle party. Beetle party. I can hardly know that. So, uh, action, final, second harvest, both the barley, early, so, cheap, the barley actually.
You'll take your power back for a minute and <coughs> pick up the cheetah. Get that one all ready to go, then we'll go. Make a decision. Need to make a decision. Yeah, with barley, I'm going to put. Yeah, barley, I think. So barley. I might move, I might move the first plant pot, first couple of plant pots there on the end. I don't think it's going to go in there. I'm not going to go in there. It's too tall. Right. Put it there for something. Well, I might do. Well, I think what I'm going to do is move these benches. Move these benches and then put another vehicle head.
pagaban. I don't know. So when I get a bit more money, get a bit more gravel on the front of there. Yeah, that was that. So just pop that one in, check in. Guys, okay. Here we are. Yeah, nice new home for our pal. Nice. Yep, happy with that. Happy with that. Nice new home for our pals to go there. And actually we could put like our combine in here, our harvester in the head too. That would be functional. That's going to be for the pal. And put the harvester and the header in here. Well. 
Happy days. There we are, ladies and gents. So yeah, we just need to, um, bring it out a bit more funds. Put, yeah, put some more gravel down here. Bring it up here. Up, like, right here. So yeah, there we go. So we will see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. I will, I will catch you all in the next episode. Oh. I will catch you in the next episode of Bright Green, uh, on Green Hills Estate. Look at if you, if you are enjoying the content. Yeah, by all means, hit the, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot and it helps YouTube. Um, you know, show the videos out to more people. And if you do in, enjoy, you know, to find, find your way back to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well, and that will help you out bringing it back to, you know, bringing you back to the you know, future content and more videos and you know, notifications when they come out. We will see you in the next one. Have a good, you know, ha a good hand, uh, good Monday, and once again, happy farming.